Now I have my cast abutment. I've cleaned it up, divested it, sandblasted it, and look, looked it over, and it looks really good. So at this stage I'm ready to cut my sprues off and start shaping it and designing it for this particular case. So I'm going to start with my hand piece here, electric hand piece, and just cut the sprues off. And now I will reduce the areas where the sprues were at. <laughs> it does get hot. When you modify your abutments, one of the things that you want to make sure is that you don't, you're, you're really creating a press. And you want to make sure that you don't make the, uh, the prep undercut or the abutment undercut. Because we're going to have to have a coping over this abutment and we want it to draw. First thing I really want to do now before I do any shaping or designing of this abutment so I want to put it back onto the die with uh, the, the uh, soft tissue intact. And I want to find where it, it fits at. Because I've flowed the wax and created somewhat of a margin here already, I'll, be, I'll get a good idea of, of how it seats into the tissue area. So I want to I want to find that out now. So I'm going to seat this onto my die. Okay, I've put my abutment back in to my model. I found the placement of it, the way that it was waxed. So I'm going to start creating my margin, and I, I want this margin to be about a half millimeter subgingival. Right now I'm above the gingiva right now. So I'm, I'm going to mark a red line on this, and I'm going to take my high speed, the carbide burr, and I'm going to uh, shape my margin and drop the margin as well just shaping a little chamfer margin now at the same point I'm concentrating on not creating an up uh, an undercut so I'll just take some off of the buckle 
as well. I just do this a little bit at a time so I will go back and take another look at it. Starting to get there. Check it again. Okay, that's starting to look uh, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do the distal, the mesial, and the lingual margins as well. Uh, my my real pro, uh, focus though is, is really making sure that the margin here is subgingival, not necessarily the, the lingual. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, start doing some of the modification now. Uh, as I create my margin, make it, more, make it more distinct with my high speed, I'm also concentrating on making sure that the overall abutment is not going to be undercut and will allow me to draw my coping. Another way that I shape my abutment is by using a rubber wheel. You can also um, Use this as well to create your margin. So I've uh, I brought my margin down to where I want it now. When I build a crown over this, the crown the the margin of the crown should be slightly subgingival, and it. Uh, you will not see a, a line there, a finish line for where the margin stop or where the uh, crown stops. So that's going to be good. Lingual looks looks good as well. Now the next thing that I'll, I like to do is to um, shape uh, and modify the abutment so that. Uh, the crown won't twist around and move. 